a final quiz. Let us test our understanding of everything under rectification of errors discussed here. The goods sold for 900 but the amount was entered in the sales account as 1080. On rectification, suspense account will be A. Debited by 180 B. Credited by 180 C. Debited by 1080 and credited by 1080 <clears throat> Basically, sales account there is more credit of 1080. Uh, there is a credit of 1080. It should have been only 900. So there is an excess credit of 180. So what will we do? We will debit sales account by 180. What is 180? 1080 minus 900. So sales account is debited by 180 and therefore suspense account would be credited. So on rectification suspense account should be credited by 180. The correct answer should be B. <coughs> credited by 180. Next. A second hand machinery for rupees 10,000 is purchased for 10,000. Amount of 1,500 is spent on transportation. 1,200 is paid for installation. The amount debited to machinery account will be A. 10,000 B. 10,500 C. 11,500 and D. 12,700 All costs till the machinery is installed till it starts working all costs before that have to be added so it's 10,000 plus 1,500 transportation 1,200 installation this is 12,700 correct answer should be D 12,700. Suspense account is A, a nominal account, B, real, C, personal account, D, any of the above. Suspense account, just a balancing account, artificial account, created artificially, temporary account, it could be any of the above. <clears throat> a suspense account, incidentally, if it has a debit balance, would appear on the debit side of the balance sheet. If it has a credit balance, we would take it to the credit side of the balance sheet. If there is a balance in the suspense account while we are preparing final accounts. An amount of 6,000 due from Anshul, which had been written off as a bad debt in a previous year, was unexpectedly recovered. It has been posted to his personal account. The rectification entry is a. Unsure debit 6000 to suspend 6000. B. Suspense debit 6000 to bad debts recovered 6000. C. Unsure account debit 6000 to bad debts recovered 6000. Or D. No entry will be made. What should be our entry? Cash account debit. The entry should have been cash account debit to bad debt recovered. What is the wrong entry they passed? The wrong entry they passed is cash account debit to unsure. This is wrong. So what would be the rectification entry? This is wrong. Reverse this unsure account debit. To bad debts recovered account, 6000 should be the correct answer. Option C. Answer C. Unsure debit to bad debts recovered, 6000. A check of 1000 received from Ramesh was dishonored and had been posted to the debit of the sales return account. Rectifying journal entry will be. Once more, a check of 1000 which is received from Ramesh was dishonored. And it has been posted to the debit of the sales return account. Rectifying entry, sales return account debit 1000 to Ramesh 1000. B, Ramesh account debit 1000 to sales return account 1000. C, sales return account debit 1000 to suspense account 1000. And D, none of these. So, 
So a check of 1000, your correct entry should have been check of 1000 received from Ramesh was dishonored. So if it is dishonored, then the entry is Ramesh's account debit to bank. This is the correct entry we should have passed. Right, an amount of 1000. Instead, what did we do? We passed a wrong entry posted to the sales return account. We said sales return account debit wrong. Sales return debit to bank. This is wrong. How do you reverse this? If you reverse this, the entry is bank debit to sales return. Now if you combine these two entries, we get Ramesh's account debit to sales return 1000. Ramesh's account debit to sales return 1000. Correct entry is B. <clears throat> Rectification in the next financial year is done through A. Profit and loss account, B. Profit and loss appropriation account, C. Profit and loss adjustment account. None of these. So the next financial year is done through the profit and loss adjustment account. Correct answer C. Next, a trial balance will not balance if a. A correct entry is posted twice. B. 5000 received from Harish is posted in the credit side of Hari. 5000 received from Harish posted to the credit side of Hari. Sales on credit basis credited to the sales account and debited in cash account. And D. Goods of 2500 returned to Ram is added into the purchases. Trial balance will not tally if a correct entry is posted twice. If the correct entry, the debit and the credit are both posted twice, it will continue to tally. So if you take a journal proper entry, depreciation account debit to furniture, if it's posted twice, depreciation account is debited, furniture account is debited twice, the trial balance will tally. Rupees 5000 is received from Harish. So bank account debit to Harish. Instead of saying Harish, we post to Hari. Trial balance will tally. Harish is wrong. Hari is wrong. But the trial balance will tally. Sales on credit basis is credited to sales account, debited to cash account. So instead of saying debtor account debit, we said cash account debit. Doesn't matter. The trial balance will tally though the entry is wrong. 2500 is returned to Ram is added into the purchases. So when 2500 is returned to Ram, Ram's account debit to purchase return. This has been added to purchases. Purchase account the debit has increased, whereas purchase return the credit should have increased. This will affect the trial balance. So your correct answer, the trial balance will not tally if D goods are returned and it is included in purchases instead of purchase return. In fact, the difference will be for double the amount of 5000. Credit sale of 10,000 made to Salu was passed through purchase book. So there was a credit sale, 10,000. To Salu, this was passed through purchase book. The proper entry for rectification. A. Salu debit 10,000 to sales 10,000. Salu debit 20 to purchases 20. Salu debit 20 to sales 10 to purchases 10 or none of the above. The credit sale, it has gone through the purchase book. So the wrong entry we have passed is purchase account debit to Salu. Purchase account debit to Salu is the wrong entry we have passed since we have recorded it in the purchase day book. So how do you offset that? You need to credit purchases by 10,000. You need to credit sales by 10,000 because that is the amount of sale transaction. And Salu has to be debited by 20,000 because one is to cancel the wrong credit given to Salu on account of it being recorded in the purchase day book. Yes or no? And another 10,000 debit to record the actual credit sale. 
if you we do the entry the wrong entry passed is purchase account debit to sallu amount of 10000 this is wrong this has to be reversed so sallu account debit two purchases then this is one entry and our correct entry is sallu account debit to sales 10000 so if you combine these two entries you get sallu account debit 10 and 10 20 purchase credit 1000 sale credit 1000 so correct answer option c next a new machine was purchased for 1 lakh but the amount was wrongly posted to furniture account as 10000 cash received from debtors 11200 was omitted to be posted to the ledger the difference in trial balance due to such error will be a 90000 b 78800 c 11200 and d 11200 let us take a trial balance suppose i take a trial balance with a debit and a credit side just to record this temporarily i just have two three items i'll just take it like this new machine is purchased for 1 lakh the amount was posted to furniture account as 10000 that means i have furniture of 10000 but cash has gone out is 1 lakh so let me write cash here as 1 lakh as a credit similarly next what happened cash received from debtors is 11200 was omitted to be posted to the ledger So when I receive, what, where do I record in the cash book? The recording is done. Any cash received, I first record in the cash book. So cash again eleven thousand two hundred has come in, but it did not go to the ledger account. So this is my difference: twenty one thousand two hundred and one lakh. So what is the difference? One lakh minus twenty one two hundred should be seventy eight eight hundred. therefore correct answer b 78800 a sold goods to b on credit for 15000 but debited to c instead of b the entry would affect trial balance b individual ledgers c balance sheet and d total debtors a sold goods to b on credit but debited to c instead of b so basically it became c account debit to sales instead of b account debit to sales it will not affect the trial balance because debit and credit is there it will not affect balance sheet total debtors is also same it will affect the individual letters b's account is wrong c's account is wrong but the total trial balance will tally therefore correct answer is b individual ledgers next errors relating to fundamental aspect of accounting is known as a error of principle b error of omission c error of commission and d compensating errors fundamental aspect error of principle capital treated as revenue revenue treated as capital etc so a correct answer a <coughs> next goods worth rupees 750 were purchased from sn company but while posting wrong debit was given to rn company okay the total of the credit side of the trial balance was 43750 assuming that this is the only error the total of the debit side of the trial balance was a 43750 b 40 44500 c 43000 and d 45250 the total of the credit side of the trial balance is 43750 this is the total of the credit side now what has happened goods purchase 750 purchase account debit 750 to sn company should have been 750 instead we took to rn company on the debit side so the debit side is more 
by 750 an amount should have come on the credit side that has also gone to the debit side whenever an amount is on the wrong side the effect of it is the difference could be for double the amount so since the debit side is in excess because we have taken more debit we should have taken it to the credit side of SN company instead we have taken it to the debit side of RN company our difference if the credit side is 43,750 the debit side will be 1500 more that is 750 plus 750 1500 more giving us 45,250 the correct answer would be D 45,250 rectification of errors are first entered in journal proper A, B, subsidiary book, C, trial balance, D, ledger. Rectification of errors are first entered in the journal proper. All rectification entries go through the journal proper. 